Yo, buenos dias, que paso, you guys, John's Moto Garage. Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanna to talk about why it is that I choose to ride a 20 plus year old motorcycle as opposed to the brand new ones. All right, so if you're new to the channel, you may not know, but this is one of my weapons of choice. It's a 2000 Harley Davidson Dyna FXDX. That's right, 2000. This thing is 22 plus years old at this point. It's an older motorcycle. And I choose to ride this bike and I actually paid a pretty penny for it, like 9,000 plus dollars and I dumped money into it. So some of you are racking your heads over that. Like why, how could you bro, when you could go out and buy a brand new motorcycle? I'm gonna try to break it down for you. First and foremost, I'm a fan of pretty much all bikes. I can throw a leg over any motorcycle and I'm gonna have a good time. When it comes to buying a bike, I think most of us buy a bike for a specific purpose or we're getting a bike that fulfills something or meets an objective. For example, maybe you want a bike that you think looks cool like a cafe race or you like the style. Maybe you're looking for a purpose-built bike like a DRZ or a Supermoto or a dual sport, something that can go on off-road or a dirt bike to go hit the tracks. I went out and bought a Dyna specifically to learn Harley wheelies. So it had to be Harley and the Dynas are a good platform for that. I didn't start with this bike though. I started with the 2013 Harley Street Bob. And that bike was great for getting my feet wet. I learned a lot on it and basically got a good start. Then I went to a 2017 Harley Dyna FXDLS, the Lowrider S on the Dyna platform and quickly realized that bike was too much, too powerful, too expensive, too nice a bike for what I was trying to do. Ended up selling and I still love those bikes, but that's not the one I ride anymore. And a while later, I stumbled on the older Dynas, this 2000 FXDX, and this one fit me perfect. A little bit shorter, a little bit narrower, and there's an old saying that less is more, and I think that's basically sums it up perfectly for these bikes. The 88 cubic inch motor is just perfect for me. Not too much power, not too little. Yeah, when I set out and bought this bike, that's why. It just kind of checked all the boxes. And some people love the fact that you can wrench on these still. It's not all this crazy new technology where everything's computerized. There's something about these old Harleys where I compared in my mind kind of to like an old classic car, like a muscle car or hot rod. These older Harleys have a personality, a characteristic to them. Every bike has its own personality. I like the personality and characteristics of this. I will ride all my other bikes and sometimes I'll go a while not riding the Harley. I jump back on, rip it around the neighborhood. It reminds me again why I love these bikes so much. And for the wheelies and the drifting and all that kind of thing, when you take a bike like this that's not really built or intended for that and you're able to do something that it shouldn't be doing, there's just something cool about that, at least in my opinion. There you have it. That's why I choose to ride this motorcycle. It's kind of a mix of a bunch of different reasons. Drop a comment below. Why do you ride what you ride and what do you ride? Let me know below. Like and subscribe if you dig it. I appreciate all the support. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Adios, hasta luego. Nos vemos.